Okay friends, I just got back from an amazing trip. I'm gonna show you guys how to flay a bluefin tuna. This is a head and a collar that I got off another angler that didn't want it. And this is my 75 pound bluefin right here. This thing is huge. And then she's gonna get mad that her kitchen's a mess, but that's okay, I'll clean it up. Also, I'm gonna put a, an old towel on here, just absorb blood. Look how big this puppy is. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, can you help? Hey, huh? Right? <laughs> oh, this thing is ginormous. I fought this thing for over an hour. On the tribute boat. I need you to help me put this thing on the cleaning table. How much does it weigh? 75 pounds. 75? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you grab the tail, yeah. and just help me bring it up. Mm -hmm. Or I'll, I can bring it up and then... Here, I'll angle it. Okay. Ready? Oh my goodness. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, Look okay. at this. Bluefin tuna. Here you go, Haley. The rarest of the rare tuna species. Look at this. So nice. Okay. Right, Haley, look at look at the look at the teeth on this thing. So that's why people use fluorocarbon line. If they swallow uh, oh fluorocarbon line and um it's called the circle hook. So if you use a regular hook and they swallow the bait, you're fighting and, and, and the teeth is rubbing against the the line and that's how they break off so you want you want to pin them right in the corner right here with the circle hook and you can see all these little line marks right here this is when the fish was trying to get away and the line was wrapped on his body oh, you going you go anywhere Haley, right now no oh you can help me record then <laughs> showing people how to fillet a fish okay so you want a nice clean i'm just gonna throw these away we're not even gonna reuse it mom's gonna get really mad she just organized the house. That's okay. She'll understand. Oh. It was so hard to just move him around, look. Oh. They did a good job gaffing it too, look. They gaffed it right in the head. So none of the meat on the body is ruined, so that's good. Oh yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't fit, so I had to put a, a little block in the sink. Okay, so this is just an Ikea little knife sharpener. Works really good. This way, towards the top of the head. And that could be the collar meat, look at that. See, lift up the fin on the back side. I'm gonna go down towards, right down here. Look at that. Look at all that Otoro. Look at that that marbling. Alright. Okay, so I'm just gonna run the knife towards the front of the head. And it's all mostly car cartilage, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna flip this baby over. It's kind of like a crappie, just bigger. Same, same ordeal behind the fin here. You get the, the shot paint to get the shot. Okay. Towards the front. Here. I'm gonna go towards the collar and the belly towards the front, just like that. Okay, boom. All right, and then I'm gonna take this knife. I'm gonna puncture through here. Try to cut the head off. 
like this. Okay. There it is. Just like that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, on this side, I'll go ahead and cut through the incision from the front side, just like that. So the head should snap off right now. Maybe not. There it is. I just had to cut through the um, the spine or the neck right by the head and it'll slide off right now. So if you look in here, all it is is just it's a membrane. Look at that. Fish off. Man, this guy's so cool. Or she or he, I don't know. How do you tell a tuna if it's a male or a female? I don't know. But this is a baby calf, okay? Go put it in here with the other head. Oh man, I'm so lucky, Haley. I was the first one to catch a fish. And I caught the second one too. And uh, the second one broke off, but. How do I adjust this so that it's not nice? so You can adjust it out. No, so that I can just like slip it out. That makes sense. All right, so now that I have the head and fin off, I'm gonna cut it into loins. Two upper loin, the lower belly portion, and then we'll have to handle it from there, so. Again, sharp knife. Okay, so I'm gonna cut, I believe it's this line right here, but it doesn't matter because we'll, we'll trim it. And then all the way, all the way down. Okay, all the way down. So I'm gonna cut through. When I hit, when I hit the spine, I'm gonna go down. See this, all this uh, scales right here? If I can clean that up. Now this is a $7 Rapala knife at Walmart. Nothing fancy, it'll get the job done. There it is, I can feel the, I can feel the ripples in the spine right now. Just like that, okay? Clean up all the scales. Okay. Yep. Yep, you feel that? Feel the knife? Now I'm gonna cut from the top of the loin, along the backbone, all the way down to the tail. Okay, or I could go the other way. I'll probably go the other way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my knife and go along the backbone all the way up and I'm gonna take off the upper loin. Okay, just like this. Now, I'm not gonna be afraid to you know, lose any meat because I'm gonna take a spoon and you'll see that I'm gonna clear, clean everything up, okay? Nothing goes to waste. This fish gave its life for me, so I'm not gonna waste anything, okay? There it is, just like that, okay, boom. Now that I'm in, just work my way up. Okay, just like that. I think I hit cartilage, maybe it went down a little too low. So I just go back out, go higher. Or I'm gonna go this side. Okay. Okay. Now, 
Let's do the peel and reveal. This is the peel and reveal. Okay, there it is. Oh my gosh, I can be a sushi chef. Look at that. I think they may have gaffed the second time right here. See the bruising on the meat, but that's okay. They did a great job. Let's go on this side. Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna cut outwards. Because the center bone in these fish is really high. Ew. Did I get you? <laughs> so gross. Did I get you? Just that center bone so high, but yeah, I got it. We just wanna work, take our time. You know, we have to just take our time to do this. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, I believe there's a rib bone and stuff. Okay. But I can't get it to open like this. There it is. There you go. There it is. Look at that. Look at, look at that, how the loin just comes, falls off, okay? You wanna take your time with it, and then all these hang-ups right here, just hit it. And it's mostly cartilage. Look at that, beautiful. Solid. Mm. 20 pounds of meat, 15. Now, I'm gonna put this in the cooler. Just keep it chill, okay? Just to keep it cool. All right, guys. Um, I know you're supposed to wait until you finish, but I just can't resist. I just can't resist. Fresh BFT. Look at this. See, that, that's why none of this goes away. So if you do a bad job, filleting it and you're doing it at home you can scoop all this up with a spoon and um, you can make tuna rolls spicy tuna roll can't make nigiri with it but you know this is delicious mmm so good sorry for being so what is the word what's the word Haley what are you trying to say like being, if it's gross to some people, what is the word? Disturbing. Oh, sorry for being so disturbing if you guys aren't into this stuff, but I grew up fishing and this is normal to me. This fish had a good life. It didn't live in a pen. It wasn't fed chemicals. I paid a lot of money to catch this damn baby. So I'm gonna utilize every piece of them or her. So if somebody can tell me how you no, if uh, it's a female tuna or a male tuna, let me know. Mmm. Hey, girl. No, you, I'm okay. You sure? <laughs> I'm okay. You sure? I'm okay. Wow. Mmm. You missing out, girl. This is a prized possession, Haley. Right there, all that fat meat, the toro. Mmm, my goodness. Okay, so. I'm gonna go from the belly up. The belly up, then we'll split it in half. Okay, so here's the belly. 
Okay, I'm gonna go all the way up. Center. Okay, watch your arm. Okay, use this knife. See the knife there? Maybe okay, we'll go back this way so I don't cut you. There's a little bit of cartilage right there. Same thing. See if I don't get all the meat, that's okay because I'm going to scrape it all off. Okay, so that's that's the least of my worries. We're just trying to get this loin off and put it in the cooler so it can cool. Okay, boom. There it is. Break that lining free. Okay. Another loin. Before I flip it over and get it all dirty. So, so that's the bloodline. You don't want that, but you want the good, the good red meat down here. Not the burgundy stuff. So you got the burgundy stuff right here. So now I've got to do the same thing to the other side. Oh. I can see my knife through here and just trying to skim off that, the center, center spine. See that? Oh, there you go. I did leave a little bit right here, but I'll trim that off later. There's another piece. Okay, they can get the cooler. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, this is a, a good example of what not to do. But it's okay, because we're gonna utilize all the meat, okay? And we'll just cut through there. Just like that. Here, I messed up. I didn't get, uh, I didn't get the blade close to the the center, center line here, but that's okay. Look, I'm just gonna scrape all the meat and we're gonna make sushi. Pokey tuna, spicy tuna, spicy tuna. That's super easy to make. Oh, when these guys fillet it on the boat, Haley, they throw the carcass back like this in the water. They what? They waste all this meat. They don't scrape it? No, they can't, they're on the boat. Ew. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Take another. Do that. Not much left. So. Just hold this piece up. Hold this piece up. What about? You hold it up like so you can see like how much like fish you got just off the bone. Wait. So look, see, this is bad filleting skills and look, I left this much on the bone. So, hey, but. As long as we get the meat off, no waste. All right, so now we still have to break this thing down. Um, trim it up. 
So what do you do with the head? Hmm? What do you do with the head? Oh, we're gonna eat it, Haley. We're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat the eyeball and everything. Who's we? Me and you. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the skin on to vacuum seal it. I like to just leave the skin on because I feel like it gives it a little bit extra protection, but we have to pull the dark meat off. Trim it up, okay? Let me just take this. The center line, the bloodline is all there. See that's all, see how dark that meat is? You don't want that. So that's right here, is that Considered, like, what is that? Oh, uh, that's where they gaffed it, you know, when they catch the fish and they hook it with the thing to bring it over the boat. Um, yeah, it's okay. We can just cut that out when you make sushi or something. You won't hurt feed it. So I'm going to take this part off. So the last time I did it, I cut it into like, you know, big chunks. It's just, we couldn't, we couldn't eat it all at one sitting, you know? So I'll probably save it in smaller chunks this time. And definitely get rid of this right here. This is the, the, the bloodline. I'm gonna try to trim, trim it up. Maybe I'm gonna slide something underneath there so I can cut it. Mom says blue, blue is for seafood, right? Why? Because it's the color of the sea. Yep. Man. Okay, just. See? And see the bloodline here? I'm just gonna trim that out, really. So nothing goes to waste. We don't eat this stuff. I think on a big fish, all the mercury or just chemicals that are in the fish stay in here. Hmm. So it, it is edible though, right? We just uh, don't eat it or? I'm sure if you're in a bind, you're stuck in the ocean and all you had was fish that had that, you'd probably just want to eat it, but. Eat that out. I'm gonna vacuum seal this. Okay. Smaller chunks and vacuum seal it. But like, how did you not break your back? <laughs> oh, like, hey, I fought this thing for an hour. I'm so glad I'm, I'm in shape, kind of. <laughs> I'm gonna gain a little weight over the years, but to be able to do this. How difficult it was trying to get it up onto the boat. Oh, well, th that's why you have deckhands. There's, there's people on the boat there that help you. You know? See? Like that nice clean loin. Man. I just do hand size chunks. How's that? Like that. Hand size chunks. Boom. Boom. All right, guys, I got everything cut down into manageable pull portions. Um, I usually do about four fingers or five fingers, depending on the area of the loin. And uh, I got it cut into just a little chunk. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna vacuum seal it. Okay, I got my vacuum sealer set up right here. I'm gonna pull down as much as I think I need. We'll, we'll start, we'll, we'll position it here. So I'll know it's there. No. Go away. Okay. Stop and then we're gonna cut this portion. Okay, and then I'm gonna seal the next line and right here. I'll put this. Oh, look at this. Let's get this. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Put the shot. Put it in the bag. Okay, and then 
I thought, oh, okay, I think. So this is a lot of work, you know, to fish and go home and have to clean all this. I mean, they provide services out there that uh, do it and they can ship it to you. But I enjoy doing this. So I grew up, you know, processing my own food and hunting deer and all that stuff. So I'm, I, I, I enjoy it. So I pull this thing out, same length because it worked, into the counter, seal the next bag. Now I've got a, a bag ready to go and a bag getting sealed fresh. What do you think, Haley? Cool, huh? You think you'd be able to do this? No. Hmm? Never. See? Ooh. Easy so peasy. Like I'm gonna get to work, guys, and uh, I'd say probably another maybe 30, 40 minutes or so, I'll have the other loins broken down, and then I'll put everything in the cooler, and then it goes to the freezer outside. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.